So, hello, and welcome back to another video. Now today I've come out to do a bit of mixed fishing, really. Um, I've got one beach rod with me, I've got a little, uh, little bit of bait, and I've also got a lure rod with me. Um, I've tied on a Texas rig, I've got some little paddle tail lures, so I plan on throwing a bait out, maybe um, targeting a bream or something like that. I'll be using a two hook flapper rig, or a one up, one down um, sort of thing with small hooks. Um, I've got some ragworm with me, which isn't in the best condition, so it needs to be used up. I've also got a couple of razor fish out my freezer. And like I said, I've got the lure rod with me to target a wrasse. Now, half an hour ago when I left home, um, I checked the weather and it told me it was a light force two straight westerly wind. I've just got down to a, uh, a mark on the east coast or the southeast coast, which would be absolutely perfect on a beautiful day like this, nice and sheltered. However, I've got here and the wind is definitely not westerly. It's blowing straight in from the south, um, so I'm going to be limited to where I can fish really. I wanted to target the area to my left here um, with Texas rig for a RAS, but the wind's cut, cutting right across, so unless it dies down, I'm going to be sort of restricted to this area behind me here. Don't know if you can see, but I've got the uh, rod holder um, up. I've just tied my rig on, haven't got any baits on yet. I'm going to throw that bait out into the water, set myself up, get my other gear ready, and then we'll target a RAS. So this is the rig I'm going to be using today. Just a two hook flapper rig. We're actually a one up, one down. As you can see, swivel there touches to the main line. We've got one hook snood at the top with a one o hook on, going down to 120 gram lead. And then another long, longer flowing trace at the bottom. So this is my rig all tied on now. This is a two hook flapper, we've got one hook at the top here, down to a little three and a half, four ounce lead, and then another hook that's going to run and lay on the seabed. Now the ground here is quite mixed. Um, I think if you cast further enough out, you hit clean sand. I know there's clean sand on this side, but um, you never tend to really get too much, apart from the odd rocky round there. Now I know you can get all sorts off here. Um, it's not the best time of year for bait fishing, but there might be some bream about. That's the main thing I'm uh, sort of targeting today. So I've got small hooks. I've got some ragworm here. I've got two pots of ragworm with me and one of them really, really not in a good state. This other stuff isn't too, too bad. It'll be fine for, for a bream. So I'm just gonna load a couple of these on each hook. I also just grabbed a bit of razor from my freezer, just in case this stuff was unusable. But I plan on just lobbing this out sort of 40 yards and just leaving it be really. I'll keep an eye on it. And then in the meantime, I'll get the lure rod set up. I've got my Texas rig um, connected already. Just need to get a lure on there and we're good to go. So that's the bait, like that. I've got a few beads on there as well, and a little bait stopper. Hopefully you can see that. So I'll get this other hook baited up, and we'll get it straight in the water. Now one thing that is in my favor today is we're fishing a rising tide. So high tide is in roughly about two hours, maybe a little longer. So I plan on staying here until the top of the tide. We'll see how we get on. And it's just one of those really. I had the bait to use up. So I thought I may as well come down to a rock mark, give it a go and see what we can get. Now this is where I am today. This is called St. Martin's Battery. Down on the southeast of the island. You've got the other islands of the Bailiwick out there, Sark in the distance, Herman Jetu, and you've got Jersey over there in that direction. But even though it looks nice, which it is, the weather's great, that wind is really howling right around this corner here. But I've got my rod here, about to get this cast out into the water. I'm going to bang it out there somewhere and we'll start fishing.
So that's the bait rod out and set up now. Now the lure rod I'm using today is a Savage Gear SG S2 15 to 45 gram. It's a seven foot rod. Um, I actually only bought this about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And I bought it for the kayak. So I had two seven foot rods to fish on the kayak this summer. Now on here, I've got a 4,000 size Shimano Nasky, 26 pound braid. And like I said, I've got the Texas rig, just made out of 20 pound fluorocarbon, little nine gram bullet weight there, a bead above the knot, just to protect it and add a bit of, a bit more color. And I'm just using an old white paddle tail lure and a size 2.0 um, weedless worm hook. So as I said before, the tide's rising. I'm just gonna start by fishing just down here behind me. That way, if I see a bite on the rod, I'll be able to get to it in time. Um, and we'll just see if we can find a rats. Uh, with a flood and tide, hopefully they'll be on the feed. We've got lovely clear water, so we'll be able to see right through. Um, yeah, let's get fishing, see if we can find a fish. So let's get this lure in the water. Check that always. Got a nice tight drag. There we go. Now I've got my bait rod just up there. So hopefully if I get a bite, I'll be able to climb up and get to it in time. And as I said, I've got a bit of a crosswind coming in. So we'll see how we get on. Just gonna start by flicking the lure out. Look, that tide and wind is gonna take it going to give me a lot of slack a big bow in the line as well so a lot of slack line it's not going to be the easiest to feel what the lure is doing so i'll let that lure sink a little bit deeper this time just good to gauge the depth of the water in the first first few casts there is a lot of rock below me it's all rough brown close in now i actually had a really good rass session down here a few months ago i think it was in february we had a really nice sunny day i came down here with a lure rod had some really good fun on the rass hooked into maybe half a dozen that video is already on my channel they're only small but still provides a great bit of sport That wind today is certainly going to make things difficult. Fish on! And what a take that was! I was just letting the lure flutter. That was a beautiful take. And that is a beautiful wrasse. Come here. Well, forecast in and we've got our first fish. Look at that beauty. I'll get the other camera and get you a better show. Well, this fish put a solid bend in the rod. Gonna go, oh, he's just come off the hook there. Well, there we go. He's just come off the hook in that rock pool. I've got the tide flooding in here. So hopefully I don't get splashed by a wave. So there we go. First fish of a session. A lovely Ballon Rass set. He's gonna go crazy, whoa. But I think, I mean, this one isn't bright red, but I've never actually had a bright red Rass. This one's as close to bright red as I've, I've got. But what a beautiful fish. Now, I'm not going to waste much more time. I'm going to get him back in the water. So one last show. Nice rass to start the session. So you can see here, that's one of the scales that came off of my, uh, my glove. But you can see the awesome colours in it. Little blue dots in the tips of it. 
Really, really pretty fish that one. So first fish of the trip, can't complain with that. That was about four casts, yeah, about four casts in, I think. That was a really good take. It's a shame I didn't have this other camera on, but a proper bend in the rod. Now I put the fish back. I must admit it took a while. It was on the surface for a minute or so, but eventually it did swim back down. So I'm pleased about that. I've just wound in the, uh, the bait rod and I've just put some fresh baits on. Now I'm using uh, the razor. I've just bound together some razor and some of that ragworm but the ragworm is literally it's dead some of it's even turned into mush um, so it's not great bait whatsoever so it's a good job i bought those rays i've just bound a few together put that on both hooks i'm going to chop that out a different side now now the bait fishing is just a, an added plus really um, i may pick something up i may not it could be completely infested with crabs here there's a lot of crab pots out there um, we've got spider crabs coming in in force now so it could end up just eating the baits. But like I said, it's just a little bit extra. Um, I'm gonna continue lure fishing, see if we can pick up some more rats. Uh, what I might do is fish the side just behind me here with the wind behind me and see if there's any in closer. Um, it's a bit shallower here as well. But let's get these out and we'll see if we can find anything else. So there's the baits back out. Now I must admit, I'm surprised all of that bait stayed on the hook. It's really not in the best condition. But I've gone into the rough ground now. So there is a chance we'll pick up a wrasse on the bait too. So I've just had another hit, but I didn't manage to connect properly with that one. Oh, there we go, I'm on. There we go, brass number two. Hey! So here we are, brass number two of the session. Just a little one again. But I'll give you a better show there. There we go, just a little one. Hopefully it doesn't jump out my hand, but still fun to catch. That tide's flooding in really nicely now. Come here, mate. Let's get that hook out. There we go, hooks out nice and easy. So let's not waste any time. Off he goes. So, as I was saying earlier about there being a lot of crabs, that there looks a bit crabby to me. Doesn't, doesn't look like a fish bite. That looks like a crab pulling on the bait. So we'll wind that in and have a look.
well for a second it did actually think uh, it did actually feel like there was something on there but then it either pulled me into a snag or I snagged up now there's nothing on there but there was definitely a bit of weight at first pretty sure it could have just been a crab a big spider crab or something like that so my bait rod's back out again let's get the lure in the water see if we can find another rats So both those rafts have been taken when I've let the lure drop right to the bottom. It's just quite difficult here because there's a big ledge in front of me. So I just don't want a, a fish to take really deep down close in and take me under that ledge because it'll just snap the, uh, snap the line clean. It's always such great fun targeting rafts on light gear. Even the little ones put a good bend in the rod. And that wind seems to have died down a little bit now, which is nice. Or maybe it has actually gone westerly now. It certainly wasn't before. That's when you know you've been hit. I'm just having a change of lure. That other lure keeps slipping down the hook for some reason. I think it just must have a tear in it somewhere. There's still nothing on the bait rod. But to be honest, it doesn't surprise me. That bait I'm using, even a fish wouldn't want to eat it, so... I can't say I'm surprised. So what I'm gonna do now, this bait has absolutely had it. These razor have been frozen defrosted, refrozen. So I'm gonna chuck all of that into the water there. And hopefully that's gonna work as a bit of chum. Maybe get those rasps coming in a bit closer. So I've knocked the bait fishing on the head now. I'm just gonna focus on the lure rod and the rats. Now, there's really no point whatsoever if you if your bait isn't up to scratch you're fighting a losing battle really so I've chucked all of the uh, the remaining bait into the water and I'm hoping that's just gonna put a bit of scent in there maybe get a few fish coming in a little bit closer Come over to another side of the bay now. Now as that tide's flooded in, the fishing has really died off. And um, I was honestly expecting the complete opposite. I thought as we approached high tide, there'd be a lot of rafts close in, but it turns out it's been really tough work. I've just had those two small ones. Um, turns out chum in the water didn't really do it, uh, make any difference. So, but like I said, that bait is pretty awful. It's um, just gonna go to the bottom of the seabed for the crabs. <coughs> But anyway, I'm going to stay another 20, 25 minutes. I've got a big trek back up, uh, back up the cliff and it's baking hot now. So uh, I'm gonna, not going to hang around too much longer. But I'm going to give it a few more flicks just into this bay here. Now this is a lot deeper water. Um, last time I was here, I picked up one or two small ones in this, in this bit, so it's worth a go. Well, unfortunately, that's going to do it for today. Uh, it's been a bit of a frustrating couple of hours. 
but it's time to knock it on the head. The fishing's really died off as that tide's rose, which is a bit surprising. Now, I only managed the two little rafts at the start of the session. Um, after that, it's gone completely quiet. I've chopped and changed lures, chopped and changed different areas, but still nothing. But that's how it goes sometimes. Um, so it's just gonna be a short video of this one. Nice to get out in the great weather anyway, and uh, it's always good fun fishing. So if you like the video, please check out the other RAS videos on my channel. There's plenty more with a uh, lot more action in them. And uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.